Microbiome seems to be quite a hot topic at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it's- In, it, in it, granular it, ways, like in everyday consumption, but also in the pharma space. In, in the pharma space, there's, there, there was a lot of interest in, in the late 2010s. Yeah. Um, oh, what it, happened? It got, very it got very exciting there. Um, it, recently, there's been a, a downturn in the, in the investment world, as you, as you know that, and the, a lot of the, the microbiome companies have struggled and, and have gone away. But there are some that are doing good. There's, we, we just recently got a couple of, of approvals in this space. There's, there's new therapeutics that have been approved for, for C. difficile infection. Um, and we think the, the microbiome uh, world is going to pick back up and, and, and get yeah. quite exciting. You know? So with that mechanism of action, you can, it sounds like the technology that you use can be applied at Concerto to various different targets. Oh, yeah. So that's yeah. interesting in itself. Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of super interesting things that the microbiome or microbes and bacteria in general should be able to do. The science is evolving, sometimes slow, yeah. sometimes fast, sometimes slow. <laughs> science is getting there. Uh, there are a lot of interesting microbes are absolutely everywhere, right? Like they're they're on this table, they're in yeah. there. We we have full control of our environment usually, right? Like we control the light and the temperature and the humidity and the everything in our environment except for the microbes we all we know to do is to kill every single microbe in the space because we don't know exactly which ones we should maybe have more of and yeah. which ones we should have less of and so we just wipe and you know that's how you get the oh it's 99.9 percent .9 like kills 99.9 .9 percent of bacteria and, all the time uh, yeah exactly and so you end up with spaces that just are completely devoid of bacteria and and and, and and we have zero control over it, but they do all kinds of interesting, useful things for us. So we, as a company, care a lot about figuring out which are the microbes that are good for us and understanding how to bring them back into our spaces, whether in the form of therapeutics or consumer products, cleaning products. Maybe maybe cleaning the stable in the future is not going to be wiping everything away. It's going to be having the right stuff on it.